Hi there, and welcome to an introduction to Google Calendar Analytics. I'm Chris. Yep, that's me. And I'll be guiding you through this. Google Calendar Analytics is a powerful tool as we can only manage and change what we can measure. So, to kick us off, we need a way of categorizing our calendar events. There are several ways of doing this. One is by coloring all of my work events in a certain color, for example, yellow, and then my meetings in lavender. If I have different projects as well, I can make these different colors. Second, to analyze our events, we need to go to the add-on and create an activity, and then we need to track the color or the name. Then, we can view its breakdown over 7 or 28 days, or even set a different time frame by clicking here. Once you've done this, you can really see how your time was spent. A second step, if you want to go deeper, is to label each of your events with either a P for productive, or a UP for unproductive, at the start of the event name. You can then use this code to analyze your productive versus unproductive time in your calendar. And that's the end of our introduction to Google Calendar Analytics. Easy, right? See you next time.